Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Drag Show. I'm Stu Smith. Uh, my producer, Terry uh, Martin, is taking the day off. We have a lovely, talented, uh, anonymous, uh, handsome guy who was on the show just before this, uh, the wonderful Arnell. And tonight, we're lucky, very fortunate, to have the one and only Marcus Ewart. The writer, the actor, the uh, columnist, the astrologer, the tarot reader. God, she does everything, ladies and gentlemen. But she's also a boy. Wow. Talk to us. How do I have time to do all that? Okay. You know what? I'm going to take one of these delicious mints here that you... Because public access, I find, is very drying. It dries <laughs> It dries out my instrument. And so I need to I need to keep that fresh. May, do you prefer Stu or Stuart? Yeah, Stu. Okay, yeah, Stu. Stu, I'd like to give you something. I'm so honored to be. This was just something I was doing at home. Usually when I go on public access show, I like to just make a little bag of potpourri. Well, um, thank you so much. There's, it's a blend. Um, but that's, you know, I just and thought that know, would I, be... I jokingly was asking you about, well, I was telling you about sure. my experience with Keith in Morocco many, many years ago. What, now, what is, for those who might not know, I, I know what Keith is, sure, but for those who might not know. Keith is kind of a, uh, a resiny type of oh. uh, dark substance that oh. uh, we smoked for the most part. Sure. And uh, it was, it gave me a, a feeling of a s difference than mm. estrangement from my body. This is a con this is what we would now call a controlled substance. Ah uh, yes, okay. yes. In but fact, it, wasn't it was controlled con then. It, yeah. it was controlled then. Sure. But you know, the uh, in those days in, in Tangier, yeah. the gendarmes were the best suppliers you could have. You yeah. know, so and everybody used it a little bit. Oh, sure. and in those well, days, I did not. I I I gave it a lot of thought. There is catnip, oh. and basil. So you think I'm kind of catty. But not so much the key. <laughs> well, you know, I don't. You know, I don't know you. I'm just getting to know you. That's Isn't right. that what this is for? We get in to, a sense. Yeah. We get to know each other. Although, didn't we at one time oh. work together at Planet Out? When Excellent segue. Excellent public access segue. <laughs> we did. We did. Yes. Okay. Let's see. How to? Oh boy, back in the uh, back in the nineties. The internet was coming into being, and yep. I and some other people, mostly me though, um, we did uh, shows on Planet Out, the world's largest LGBT site at that time. I don't know if it still is now or not. And um, we just did hundreds and hundreds of videos with all these different characters, and oh my god, we did animated weekly horse, not animated, we did uh, live horoscopes every week, and in care, you know, in this. In this, all this greatness, uh -huh. you know, and, this, and uh, accoutrement, yes. drag. And, and you were working there? I was an intern. You were an intern. I was an intern and, and we, planned it out. And somehow we knew. Yes, we knew. absolutely. We knew. I remember, I just talked to Megan Smith today, you know, uh, who was then the CEO, you know, for, I think, one of the first lady CEOs, lesbian oh, lady oh, CEOs God. of a major oh, corporation because AOL, I think, was then the big player in Planet Out. That's right, AOL. Dial up. Yeah, exactly. Email. <laughs> email. What was email? <laughs> well, that's, okay, now I'm going to do a public access segue here, Good. which is so one of the first um, drag experiences that I did, this was in 96, pre-Planet Out, sort of right before Planet Out, and I did an event called live psychic drag queen hotline and i 24 hour live psychic drag queen hotline and i got 50 drag queens sf drag queens and how it was supposed to work and it, the, the internet was still very rudimentary at this point but how it was supposed to work is that these lovely ladies would they would come on uh viewers all around the world would be texting in messages asking the our, our a lovely psychic drag queens questions and then the drag queens would there would be live audio and live see you see me well this was very early none of that stuff worked none of it synced up it was it was a huge failure but there were little uh so we we're trying to do like live streaming video but that part didn't work so we just had to use those little egg-shaped um see you see me cams yeah and I remember going into the broom closet in this place where we were holding it and just crying because I thought it was going to be this big event, and it wasn't. 
I mean, it was cool. We had 50 drag queens, but <laughs> like everything that my basic premise, none of that happened. And there were just all these, you just, you know, see, you see me, people use it to jack off. So <laughs> I came in, it was like three in the morning. Cause literally we were on for 24 hours. We had, my God. we had people cycling in and, um, I came into this room and there was just like this bank of like cocks jacked Fabulous. off or Spewing. spewing and all the drag queens were like egging these guys on and everything. <laughs> I love it. But we did have we had some stars. We had um through through C U C Me we had um we had Allen Ginsberg show up with his last public appearance, but you know, on camera. And William Burroughs and Poppy Z Bright, the the horror writer. And um and that was kind of fun. Let me ask you, so yeah. you brought a couple of yeah, names up, sure. uh, three, but let me ask you about two. That sure. What was your relationship with uh, William Burroughs and the yeah. wonderful Mr. Ginsburg? Sure. Well, those those were, okay, so I grew up in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm going to drop the I'm gonna drop the accent. Cool. Now. So I grew up in Atlanta, Georgia, and um, I, uh, oh, God. <laughs> I have so many stories. Oh, boy. Oh, there's me. There's, there's, there's me as Marcus a boy. Marcus as a young that's, man, that's, young boy, that's what pre-drag, or maybe no, that's like out of drag. last year. Oh, oh last really? Year. Yeah. My God. It's just a good shot. Yeah, well, you're footage. very young looking. You're always very young looking. Oh, come on. Now, now You'll I'm be young looking until you got... Come on, now I'm the, embarrassed. Go to the ashy. Now you're embarrassed. So go on with the oh, Bruce sure. Ginsburg. Well, actually, let's roll it back. So Atlanta, Georgia. Let's see, what am I now? I'm 38 now. And in Atlanta, I was like 13, and I was watching Public Access. Wow. Do you see how it all yeah, comes back fabulous. around? Yeah, it's fabulous, yeah. And there was this show in Atlanta called Video 69, or something like that. And then they would show New Wave videos, and then they would have local acts. So they had this person, RuPaul Charles, come on.